Welcome back to Jersey Matters. They started with a stand on the side of the road in Belmar, and they have become a sensation in the food industry. What do you hear this story? It is fascinating. Abby Taylor is the founding partner of Playa Bowls. Yeah. Because I was saying Playa, and you corrected yeah. me. Playa is... <laughs> means beach in Spanish. And, and beach is important because you're a surfer. Yeah, and different beaches that I traveled to, it was always like Playa Maria or Playa Negra, so it just was a perfect name for us. But as you were traveling, <laughs> you would find bowls in every area you went to and fill them yourself? Yeah, so I would go to Hawaii or Puerto Rico, Nicaragua, California, and there was bowl shops, and I was eating acai bowls after surfing or just for like a snack in the middle of the day, and I just became hooked on them, and then I came home and I was making them for all my friends and my family and my own little concoctions, and then... It turned into a small business. You say acai like most people would use the word ba or of. <laughs> and, and to the unenlightened, what is acai? Uh, acai is a berry from Brazil. It's kind of like a blueberry, but it has a big seed in the middle. So you just eat like the skin of the berry. Um, but it's packed with antioxidants, um, a lot of health benefits, anti-aging properties. And your bowls are known for this acai. Yeah, acai is like our main thing. That's really what we're known for. So before I, I, we have a bowl here, I'll take it out in yeah. a second. Before let's let's back up. Uh huh. You started this in Belmar, New Jersey, with you. You described it as a lemonade stand. Yeah, basically we had like a patio table on the side of the road with like a blender and a small topping station and an umbrella. Um, we had a small menu with just acai bowls. I think four or five bowls and a couple smoothies, and we just would put up the umbrella every day and blend up bowls and tell people what acai was and. I put up like a sign that we we're gonna go surfing for a couple hours and we come back. <laughs> so you didn't take it that seriously at first. It's just it was sort of just... was like a hobby, you know, maybe this is gonna turn into something. Let's see how it goes. And, and how many stores do you have now? 57. In 57 <laughs> in how many states? Uh, seven states, I believe. I can't even keep track. And you're still expanding. Yeah. Are you ready for this? I mean, I just take every day as it comes. I just wake up and I'm like, all right, we're here. Let's do it. So. Yeah, and so, uh, and you're in New Jersey, you're all over Jersey at this yes. point, right? So, um, how many stores do you have in New Jersey? I, I don't even know the exact number that we or have in New or Jersey. more than half in New Jersey? More, more than half, yeah. I would because say 85%. That, this is your base. And yes. you're starting to go to New York and to Delaware. And yeah. as you talked about a second ago, Doylestown, Pennsylvania. Yeah, you're yeah, to go yeah. To as, as well. So let's get at one of the bowls. Yeah. So this is a pitaya bowl. This is called the Electric Mermaid. It's probably our most popular pitaya bowl. Pitaya is a dragon fruit from Nicaragua. And... Uh, so this doesn't have the acai? No, that's a different base, the pitaya base. So even though the acai you started with... You, we sort you, of expanded the menu now. Yeah, when you say... You go so fast. Yeah. <laughs> when you, I'm going to pull you back for a second. When you say a different base, how many different bases are there? Uh, five. And, and what are they? So we have acai, pitaya, coconut, banana, and chia. And every one of those you build on. Yeah. You put other fruit on. And, on top, and, yep. and is there any type of, of, of nutritional uh, logic behind it? I mean, they're all packed with tons of nutrition. They all have sort of different benefits, but they're all really healthy bases. And do you sell the benefits? Do you say if you eat this one, this is going to happen? Yeah, we write one? them on boards in the store and try to explain to people what the health benefits are. So where would people find one? If it, somebody that's watching right now and says, boy, I've never heard of that. I really want to try one of those. Where do they go? Um, they could check out our website. It has all of our locations, pliables.com. And what do you hope to do with this? I mean, at this point, I just feel like we're so committed. I just want to keep going and expand probably across the country. Well, I think you're going to. Yeah. And, and yeah. so that's why I asked you a moment ago if you're ready for it. Because, I mean, so you're just, a, the, the, uh, to excuse the term, but you're just a surfing girl that <laughs> stumbled onto something. Is I know. That safe? It's crazy. It's true. It's true. I'm learning every single day. I ask a lot of questions, and it's just been a journey. Now, what did you want to do for a living? Um, so I went to school for art. So basically at all the stores, I do all the artwork. I did our logo. I do all of our apparel. Um, basically setting up all the stores, the creative design behind them. When you go into Appliables, you feel like you're on vacation. It's a lot to look at. There's a lot going on, the design elements in it. So I get to use that almost every single day, which is what I like to do. Um, but I never thought that I would be doing this. I, I didn't go to school for business or anything. So you, you, It says you're a founding partner. Mm -hmm. So you have, there's somebody else that works yes, with Yes, I have you. another partner. And, and who is that? Uh, Robert Giuliani. Robert Giuliani, is he, is he more of a business person? Yeah, definitely. Um, he goes and he lays out the stores, like the equipment behind the counter, and he's finding new locations, and now we're franchising, so he's really good at vetting out different partners, and we're a really good match together. Oh, perfect. So he yeah. you kind of provide the mojo. Yeah. And, and the style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he provides the business part. Yes, but he does. Th whose idea was this? Whose idea was the bowl? Um, we both 
after traveling, I basically came back and I wanted to do this and he sort of pushed me to do it and I probably wouldn't have done it if he didn't push me to do it. So I think it was like so it was a, match a group made effort, in yeah. It was a business match yes, ma made yes. in heaven. Well, I, I can't congratulate you enough. Thank it, you so it much. Is, it is wonderful that you were able to take a concept like this and build it. I think you might be an inspiration to a lot of people out there who think they have a great idea and are afraid <laughs> to take the next step. And, uh, yeah. and all you need to do is find out if people like it, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it was great that we could test the market with that small setup like we had described in the beginning to see if people were going to like it before committing to like a lease or a long-term Thing, but it worked out for us. Oh, I'm wonderful. I've never tried one. And you better I'm, try it. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm absolutely going to try one. How much do they cost, by the way? Um, they range from nine to eleven dollars. Nine to eleven dollars, and and you, <laughs> so you make enough money on the nine to eleven dollars per bowl to be able to open fifty-seven stores. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's that's great. You yeah. have that's kind of a magic potion you have, a yeah. magic financial potion you have going on. You sell other things in the stores. Though. Yeah, we sell apparel, we sell our granola, we sell our honey. Um, that you can take home. Yes. And yeah. you can get that on the website well. Yes. As well. What's what's the website? Pliables.com. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Yes. Congratulations. Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Abby Taylor is the founding partner of Pliables. Jersey Matters continues right after this.